Chapter 2, Mishnah 6. This Mishnah summarizes when the different types of Chatas offerings, those of an ordinary individual, a king, an anointed Kohen, and a court are brought. Regarding any of the commandments in the Torah for which a person is liable to karas if he transgressed it intentionally, and he is obligated to bring a chatas if he transgressed it unintentionally, the law is as follows. If an ordinary individual violates one of these commandments unintentionally, he brings a female sheep or goat as a chatas, i.e. a standard chatas. If the king committed one of these sins unintentionally, he brings a male goat as a chatas, the Nazi's chatas. And if the anointed Kohen or court ruled that such a sin is permitted, and the Kohen followed his own ruling, or the people followed the court's ruling, they bring a bull as a par Helim Devar or par Kohen Mashiach. The Mishnah states which offerings are brought for the unintentional sin of idol worship. And if the unintentional sin involves idol worship, an individual, the king, and the anointed Kohen bring a female goat as chatas. And if the court ruled to permit idol worship, and the people followed the ruling, they bring a bull and a male goat as offerings the bull as an ola and the male goat as a chatas.